Yeah, people, so today I have this special person with me. Introduce yourself. Hey, guys. Well, um, you may know me or not, I guess. Um, I've been his longtime friend for a uh, kind of long time now. And yeah, we got this special unboxing video. We're, we're unboxing a Rocket Lua mouse. And I don't know. I've got a Razer mouse myself. It's Razer Taipan. And um, I've got it like for. Did you just get this knife here? Yeah. Well, he's getting a knife out. Well, I've had this Razer Type Pan for like two years and I'm really happy with it. And uh, I really want to know about this uh, this mouse here and how it feels and adjusts. Well, would you do the honors? Okay, I'll do it, no problem. Just yeah, open so, these well, seals. Yeah, well, he's doing that. Well, um, apparently on the box it says it has six mouse functions. Whoa! I don't know what that means. Could be like what? Mouse click one left, right? I don't know. Yeah, probably. It doesn't have any side buttons, so you can it's use a... it in like any special way. It just yeah, got, like, it's a three button left, mouse. Right. Yeah. And, and it's got a DPI sensor. I think it's got like uh, six or seven stages, it said. So, uh, yeah, it's got like, I think from. What, 600 to 2000 DPI, nice. something like that. Let me just, something let me like just that. read the box. Yeah. Before we can open it and just. Yeah, he's just like. Okay, so that's a Pro Optic R2 sensor with 2000 DPI, whatever that means. I mean, it's, op it's an optical sensor. It has an Arctic blue LED lighting and no sweat side grips, which I'm very interested about because, um, well, if you know me. Oh, this little seal. You know that my hands sweat like insane and. It's pretty much a ruin every coating on my mouse. Yeah, mine too. Uh, just see what else. Adjustable DPI from 250 to 2000. Ambidextrous shape, advanced driver. I mean, how advanced can a mouse driver be? I mean, yeah, I mean, I have a, a Rocket Isco um, um, gaming keyboard. And Let's see what else. I'm pretty satisfied with it. It's got like tons of options. Um, it's got its own interface and you can like, uh, it has five profiles, you can uh, adjust every key to its proper setting if you want. You can like adjust functions to it, macros and all that stuff. Um, it's not a mechanical keyboard, but I'm still really happy with it. It's got a really nice, soft touch to it. What the heck do you open this? Come oh, on. from the bottom. It can do it. Oh, of course, and I forgot the most important feature of the box. The famous quote on the side. Only the past will moving boldly into the future, said by Do Do <laughs> Dr. Eric J. Dale, a rocket scientist. I want to be a rocket scientist. Yeah. Come on, it. He's a proper rocket scientist. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> that's a cool title. Um, yeah, I'd want one of those. Oh, tabs, look at that. Look at that, the tab here, so it slides in. Cool. You can keep the box, I don't like boxes. <laughs> I have nowhere to put it anyway. Also, the reason why I got it, if you see the price here, it says 45. I got it half off, so it was only 22 and a half. So it can, yeah, it was there we go, here's the box. You can take that. Um, we got a bunch of stickers, first of all. I'm gonna put it on his face, there we go. Yeah. Keep, keep the stickers, no, I'll keep the stickers. Um, quick installation guide. Use the internet, there we go. Oh, well, that's actually really helpful. Um, 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 yes, it slides off. There we go, two piece cover. And then you okay, turn it slowly, man, slowly. You just <laughs> don't need to rush it. I'm just yeah, it's a bit of pain in the ass, so I'm hoping that one up. Stress free packaging because you can destroy it. There we go. Now we'll just throw this in the back. There we go, don't need that. <laughs> and, ooh, it's actually smaller than I thought. Yeah, it's actually really small. It's got a serial bigger. number. It's made in China and designed by Rocket Studios in Germany. Serial number, rock-11-310. Awesome. Um, yeah, it actually has a nice surface to it. Nice rubber coating, I mean. Clicks. has buttons, it has... That's actually a lot stiffer than it all also. And there's a Lua branding on the side. Rocket branding on the top. This slippy pad also looks quite nice. Are they Teflon? I don't know. I don't know, maybe. The cord... I swear it's saw it in the picture it was braided. Yeah. I, it's, it's not. A, yeah, I think like I saw a picture it was braided, but yeah, and apparently not. I don't know, I saw it too, but it's like whatever. Well, it's really small actually, I mean, I'm kind of a small guy and it's like, and I have small hands, so it's like... <laughs> Am I missing something? Like this. It's actually quite small, I thought it'd be bigger too, yeah. I mean, it's, it's awesome for portability, I'm gonna bring it to my laptop anyway, so... Yeah. That's cool. 
Um, but yeah, the mouse wheel is really, really stiff for uh, you know up, ups and downs, and if you click it, it's actually really, really stiff. I thought it'd be like a lot easier to click on it so, and scroll with it, but okay. Let me get some specs also, because uh, why not? Okay, 2000 dpi, we covered that. It's an optical sensor, which means no laser acceleration things that some people worry about. Um, 16 inches per second maximum speed. Anyone knows what that means? Do you know what that means? Uh, no. It's got 20 g's of acceleration again. It's probably something good, I guess. Pointless. <laughs> 20 g's, you know. A thousand hertz polling rate, pretty standard for mouse nowadays. And it has a 1.8 meter USB cable. How, how much is that in feet for all the American plebs? Si yeah. No. I don't know. Six, I, don't, I, think I don't know six the feet. conversions. I, really I think it's know. six feet because one foot is like 30 centimeters. I think like six feet. So requirements, you need Windows XP, Vista, or 7. Where's my Mac OS support? Come on. Come on, Rocket. You know. Well, for the no sweat side grips, I sure like... I have a sweaty palm right now and it really doesn't feel that great. It, it slides a lot, so um, I'm not really sure about how effective that thing is. I know my Type N has a, a really good... I mean... They have a really good approach about this. It's like you can, you can also see a lot of uh, fingerprints already on it. Yeah. It's kind of annoying. It gets dirty a lot. And there's this rocket logo right here on the right mouse button. And I don't know if you're pressing the right mouse button a lot. It probably irritates you after some time since you can actually it's actually engraved deeply. It's not like a soft engraving. It's really really deep actually. So yeah, yeah if you right click a lot, I don't know. It probably get my nerves. Sooner or but, later. But, but again, you can solve if you grip on the desk, you might feel it also better, so yeah. it does that. Also, the DPI thing here, I don't like this has no indication what DPI level you're at. I mean, my M8000X has like full lights on the side. Yeah, it's, it's easy. probably in the driver or something. Yeah, but it's easier just to see, oh, I have like 250 DPI yeah, and I'm really just like that. blindly. Maybe it's on screen uh, like the Razer does. I, I mean, know. I know uh, if I just do DPI on my razor, it says like in the right side corner what DPI I'm using I and know. what's the next DPI stage. It's not like I'm using, I won't install the drives or anything because probably won't. Yeah. Because why I would mean, you install up, mouse drivers? Come I mean, on. it's up to you. I'd say you do it. Man, so, they actually have quite good adapters and drivers for that. I know I have it for my keyboard and oh. it's really, really sweet. Cool! Yeah, it has look a little, at that USB connector right there. Yeah, it has a little rocket, rocket blending logo. and cool. I like yeah. this. I mean, it's special, you know. And it's also dirty already. My keyboard also has that. What's what's this? Look at that. Oh, this little speck, this white speck. I don't know. Well, what is this? I don't know. It's some dirt. Whatever. Let's, so let's push it off later. I'll just hide my knife somewhere. You can... Here, here's the box. Yeah. Uh, anything else we can talk about? Oh. Also, here's the mouse. Yeah, give, give me everything. Give me, oh, your car, no. give me your car keys also. I'll just leave you here. Yes, of course. <laughs> I'll drive home with the mouse. Oh yeah, so basically, we've covered a lot of things in mouse and stuff. Um, I mean, I can compare it with uh, my Taipan, so... Yeah, I mean, uh, I've said everything I could about this mouse. It's not that good, but for the price he got it, it's... It's absolutely perfect, if you ask me. He got it for like 22 euros, he told you about that and... Actually, fun fact, euro don't have a plural. God damn it. It's, it's euro for whatever it is, so it's like 500 euro. Damn it. Anyway, There's no plural. I always mess that up. And cent also, so it's like 5 cent, not cents. Hmm. That's fun interesting. Fact. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's really small, it's not that big. Uh, like, um, I thought it'd be bigger by the size of the package and stuff, yeah, I mean, but uh, yeah. Is, it, is this natural size? I don't know, maybe. It is. It actually is, yeah. This mm. is natural size, so if you grab the box, that's how big it is. Yeah, actually. And compared to, let's yeah, say, my hand. Yeah, but so, I thought there it'd it be bigger, but uh, it's okay. Um, it's got a nice low profile, it's not like very, it's not very high at it's the tall. end. Yeah, it's, it's not tall. very tall. Yeah, there we go, it's not very tall. And... Yeah, that's it's actually quite nice for me. I think uh, I enjoy like uh, low mice. And and, just, yeah. just, just the weight. Let's just see the weight. Actually, it's pretty light. Yeah. There is no, there is no weight spec on here, but yeah, it's like cheap, like plastic. Yeah, uh, it will match nicely with my Rocket Zero mouse pad yeah. for anything. 
It's funny because I have the mouse and the mouse, but now he has the keyboard. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah, actually don't match. Yeah, I actually have a rocket keyboard and I have a razor mouse and razor uh, mouse pad. So, so yeah. We can trade. Yeah, we for inverted. Yeah. But yeah, there's not much else to say. And I'll, I'll test it out in like, I'll play some Osu, you know, see yeah. how see how it is. And right now I'm using some cheap Speedlink mouse. This has like 800 DPI and sort of annoying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not used to playing with solo DPI. I yeah. usually play. My, my mouse has like 5,000 DPI, so going to that to 800. Yeah, I'm, it's kind of insane. I'm playing at 1,800 DPI, so yeah. I mean, I'm, I can't imagine how's like. Playing 800 with, is pretty low. No, 1,800. I'm like yeah, yeah, no, but I'm saying like on my mouse. It's yeah. 800. That's, that's actually. That's actually quite low. I've changed it to 800. I was like, damn, this is so slow. Yeah. But then again, it's up to preference for some people, you know. Some people like to play at high DPI, some people like to play at low DPI, so it doesn't really matter as long as the mouse performs as you want. Exactly, so it's, per it's personal preference. Yeah. So I don't think there's anything more to say. No, um, I think we can. Package well. contents kind of ruined the surprise. Yeah. As a mouse and quick installation. I didn't mention the stickers. Yeah. Didn't mention the stickers. Rocket, rechange re change everything, you know. Um, well, yeah. you showed them at the beginning, so that's okay. I mean, Only something. It doesn't say it supports Windows 8, but kind of self-explanatory. It's a mouse. Yeah. It doesn't say it has Mac support, which I think it should. You know. I mean, this maybe it has. Maybe it's just like it just forgot about it. Yeah, no, it just it should be. You know. Yeah, like, probably. Small, small things, you know, that you know Mac people probably won't understand. <laughs> you know, Mac people. Yeah. Don't worry, they got their like one wheel thing. Magic mouse. mice. Yeah. And Great. Magic mouse. Damn it. I love how this unboxing turned into anything else but the mouse. Yeah, pretty much. Good. Internet connection, you need that for driver installation. Yeah. But this doesn't have drivers? No, it's actually just a piece of paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> was... Yeah, it actually doesn't have anything. <laughs> it's actually just a piece of paper with instructions let and just... a manual on it. Let me just open this, let me just read. It says plug the USB port into, into the thing and done. Yeah. Since you need, should you need assistance, you can contact Rocket in case you're stupid and can't read. Um, but it pretty good explains like the thing about the mouse and the drivers. And Holy and smokes! This is awesome. Yeah, it opens it's up like a like wall that. poster. Yeah, it's up, it opens. Okay, up, they yeah. just. Okay, in case you don't know how to do this, and just show a picture. You grab the USB connector and just live. Yeah. You grab this thing, and you plug it correctly in a USB port on your computer, and then it should work. And then if you need what each thing is on the mouse, it says it here. Left click, right click. Um, I, li I like actually I like this. It's actually yeah, it comes in pretty, pretty awesome. handy. Yeah, it's pretty handy. And congratulations, you're the proud owner of the Rocket Lua. This is cool. Rocket Lua Tri Button Gaming Mouse, a sleek, compact, ambidextrous gaming instrument. It's an instrument. It's not even a peripheral or anything. It's, it's a gaming instrument. That's great. It's not a tool or anything, it's okay, cool. I wonder they how boldly it remastered the traditional pre button mouse with its sophisticated combination of comfort, power, and style. They could have taken that from like the. What's that, Razor Mouse? Yeah, probably. R Razor. Uh, Abyss. Uh, Abyss, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Stylish, okay, the way is a game mouse that combines sleek and something. You can, you can show the mouse while I'm reading, you know, show the features, the, the Illuminate Rocket logo. Yeah, okay, so yeah, this is the logo. You can see here. The Lua is a gaming mouse that combines style and substance. Not only does it feature a sleek, attractive profile, but it also has an eye-catching rocket trademark logo body lit in arctic blue on its rear side. A perfect complement to your other rocket trademark gear. Which I have a mouse pad. Yeah, so this is like the the engraved thingamajiggy right here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there we go. You can even so set yeah, the logo the engraved, to right click. Okay. Go on, go on to breathe in these things. Giving the impression you look is alive and awaiting you all this. Yeah, it, okay. Adjustable pro optic sensor, let's see what to say about that. The Lua's precision optical sensor lets you game with accuracy and control. Keys to success in any battle. Yeah, I mean, if you don't hit your target, it's kind of pointless. And thanks to its dedicated DPI button, which I don't think that's how you spell DPI. I think no, it should be capitalized. Yeah, it's probably capitalized. They forgot about that, probably. You can easily switch between a wide range of settings that fit your gaming style. Quickly choose from 250, 500, 1000, 1250, 500, 1750, and 2000 DPI. So it goes up in 250 increments. 
you know, a lot of clicking if you accidentally misclick. Actually, you know, you can go from 2000, you actually misclick to 215, it takes a lot of time. And game your way with ease without ta with uh, without ever taking rise of the action. That's yeah okay. Advanced ergonomics, which he'll be showing off right now. Come on, doing that, do that. Oh yeah, look at them advanced ergonomics boys. We built you with a so, yeah, range of features like designed to make it as comfortable as possible. Full started, it features a soft touch upper surface that lets you play for extended periods in total comfort. Also catches a lot of fingerprints as we figured out. It also boasts. Perspiration resistant, no sweat, again no sweat in these things. No sweat side grips that uh, ensure a steady grip during even heated gaming. And the Lewis Compact M Reductor's V-shape makes it ideal for both left and right handers. Can, can you check out this if it actually works for left and right hand? Oh god, oh god I'm not a lefty, I'm a right hand guy. But yeah I can see it work. Okay. It's decent. So that's okay. pretty much all it says. Yeah, that's my left hand. It's like that. Okay, we figured out that it was made in 2012, so that's probably why it doesn't have Windows 8 support. Yeah, the manual just has like a short description of the mouse and its features. It's actually pretty neat, I got it with my keyboard and it's quite fun to read actually. It's got some interesting facts and especially how to use it and all that stuff, especially if you got the drivers for it. Yeah, and there, use the... there isn't anything special for this mouse that we've seen, but when keyboards have more things on them. Well, yeah, but you can probably find something about this mouse, like rebind it or some stuff. Just stick this again, which are on the floor. Yeah, pick up the stickers. Should I put them on my, on my laptop? The stickers are actually pretty cool. I want some. Should, should, should I put them on my laptop? Yeah, we'll, we'll decide the, about that later. Some broken some. logo or something? Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I, I like these stickers. Nice. They're cool, I mean. They're razor just give, cool. What does Razor give you? Just a bunch of the same? Uh, yeah, I actually got two transparent Razor stickers, that's all. I mean, this, this is a wide range, look at that. You got some... Yeah, the, it's actually a the wide rocket logo, which set the rules. Uh, gaming tools to ma to master words. Rocket, I rocket, whatever. That sounds a bit ridiculous. Yeah, but it's okay. And you got also black and in white because they're not racist. You <laughs> yeah, know. that's it. Perfect for the times when you have illegal immigrants in your country. God damn it! <laughs> Bring that up because it. it's topical. Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay. Just don't get me started about that, please. Okay. okay. <laughs> And I think that's pretty much it. I think we've covered everything. Yeah, that's pretty much awesome it. Just... So yeah, this is like... It comes like this in a package. The cable, the cables are braided, as we said before. Just normal cable, USB port. You. Sorry, and if you want to make thing. a mouse uh, mouse cover, you can just cut this thing up, you know? Yeah, I used to, <laughs> you, I used you to put it on. I used to do this a lot, you know, just cut this out, so dust won't get on. Man. But uh, it's already fingerprinted like all over the place. I've just like held it in five yeah. minutes in my hand. Those are like, like a lot of fingerprints and stuff. But yeah, like the, the the side grips aren't really that good. I mean, they, they can say all they want about their side grips with this not, particular mouse. Nothing is sweat proof, come on. Yeah, it's actually nothing is sweat proof. sweat resistant, but... Yeah, this is actually like plastic. It's just like grained it's plastic. It's rubber. No, it's, it's not even rubber coated. Not, no, it's not. I mean, it's just like green it is a bit It's a bit soft touch, but... Yeah, that's about it. It doesn't have any weight. I mean, it's pretty light mass, but... It is meant to be compact, as they say, you know, so... I mean, it's... If anything, it's tons better than the one I used before. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so that's why I got it, like, just to replace your old goddamn yeah. mouse. And the, the X7 I used before, it's kind of a similar shape. If you remember, the one that has, like, the broken cable. Yeah, yeah I remember Similar shape, I similar size, you know. Except that one had red lighting. Yeah. Actually, it was transparent in the sense it was lighting it up. Small oh, details. Small one. details. Yeah. Actually, it's quite nice, you know. And for for the price I got, it's like nothing can get better than this than for twenty bucks. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, forty. Yeah, like forty euros still. I mean, for a game it was forty euros. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, there's, actually, there's a wide selection, especially if you're in the US, you know, with Corsair and stuff like that. Yeah, we really don't have much of a selection here. It's just like a Rocket booth, a Razer booth. That's maybe Logitech. Maybe. Yeah, and Logitech. I mean, for the same price, I got a yeah, G100S, yeah. which is kind of a similar thing to this, but whatever. You know, I, yeah. got, I got this because they actually had it on sale. So we actually have nine minutes of recording left because we've been talking for a long time. Yeah, I well, think that it is some kind of a review, a review slash unboxing. I mean, slash it's kind of first impressions. There we go. Yeah. See. There we go. There we go.
So yeah, I mean, we're gonna give you the box because I know you like collecting boxes. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep. I'm the box guy. I'm gonna keep these, and yeah, I've maybe kept these. Boxes so far. No, I'm not gonna keep this because there you go. So you can put. We're gonna put it together on camera. Oh god. Let's see how easy it is to put it oh back god, together. Oh god, please don't. Don't even try that. Let's see that. A true testament of great packaging. If you can put it back together in less than eight minutes, then it's great packaging. It took me way too long to put my razor mouse back in my box Let the first time I tried it. Yeah, yeah. see this? this is uh, you can't actually see it, but it's it's pretty difficult. You have to turn it upside down, hold it with the... There you go! Yeah, Look you have that. to hold it with one hand, then put the other piece of the box on top of it, and it's pretty frustrating, since the cable just like flies all over the place. do the thing with the thing, and then you... Okay, okay, I think I got it. Yeah, you got it, you got it. I think I got this. There we go. Just like yes, put it and in the I box can now. repackage it and I can return it and grab a different mouse stand box. Yeah. Like I did with the mouse pads. <laughs> How do you put this back in? Um, I think it, you put it, yeah, put it in backwards. Just like, yeah, like oh, it. there we go. Yeah, my, there I'm, you go. I'm stupid like that. No way. And I put it in and the edge catches it, of course. Come on, mouse! Slowly. Come on, go in! No, don't pressure it. You got this. Slowly. We believe in you, man. You can do it. Yeah, he's probably frustrated by it now. There we go. There and we it's go. in! Yay! He made and, it. And I can just put this tab back on. And I can reverse the video. That's, and really, actually... that's a really weird tab. We're just right there. It's like... Now, even if, we, even if we reverse the video, it's still an unboxing. Actually, it is. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool, yeah. So, uh, anything else? No. I can just mute the audio and just like... Yeah, go over reverse it. it. Yeah. That'd be really weird though. But I'm always surprised, but it says it's a compact mouse on the top. Oh, yeah. And we're kind of stupid, I'm expecting it to be bigger. Yeah, probably. But maybe they whatever. should also say it's a one by one scale on the, on the, top, on the front. Yeah, that'd be really a lot, cool. A lot, so of, a lot of things yeah. just say that it's like an actual size of something, you know, asterisks or whatever. Yeah, and it's you can actually open it to like test it out, like with the Razer and the Logitech mice, because, you know, they have like the magnet slash. What's yeah, it that's called? magnetic. Yeah, magnetic stuff. You can just like open it up I mean, and you, put you, your. You hand expect in it. it to be because some like angle here, you know, it's like oh, perfect to wrap it up. And no. Yeah, actually, it isn't just like taped and, together. I mean, it's like so you can open it. You can sort of say it's like the stabs here. And it's like oh, we're gonna open it. No, you're just gonna rip the box apart. Yeah, I actually can do that too. And then the ball. So even the box collects fingerprints. What? I hate these things. Oh. What well, I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just give it's that just, to him. Yeah, but. Uh, here. And uh, you know, do you have they have a channel you can promote or anything? No, <laughs> not right now. No, they have the plan to make in the future or anything, just probably, but it's a new channel, but not right now. Okay. I really don't have anything right now, whatever. So, um, there's no way to check this guy, has, he has no Twitter, no Facebook, no anything you can yes, do. Yes, I have nothing, so uh, no, no promotion here. Don't worry, I don't need any promotions. I mean, if you want more videos with him, just like the video, send me a comment. You can do that. You can comment and say, I want more videos with whoever you're gonna call him. And we're call... just I'm just his friend. Yes, with his friend in quotation marks. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There um, we go. I mean, we used to call you Helmet Kill. Yeah. That was, my, that was my former username. Now it's. No, I yeah. don't know. I mean, you can. Until he makes a new channel, I just. Still call your helmet kill for consistency. Whatever, yeah, okay. So, I uh, think that's it. Either that or we wait for another four minutes for the recording to end on itself. I don't know, do you have any more content to roll out? Four um, minutes of content. I have nothing. <laughs> I have a light that doesn't work. There we go. Oh, have a light. oh it works. There we go. Uh, we no. have light. Let's not do that because it's yeah. annoying people. Yeah, it's actually annoying. Um, well, um, I have nothing on, on me right now. Oh wait, I have something. The keys. Look there at that. Know. Also, ah, almost what a we're perfect triangular shape. What we're on top of peripherals, we can talk about mechanical keyboards for like four minutes, and, and why I decide not to get one. I mean, well, that's actually an interesting topic. Okay, we're gonna cover this in four minutes. Just yeah. Okay, so four minutes of this. Um, okay, so basically, um, I never had a mechanical keyboard, I never used one, I mean, I've used one, but not like uh, for my 
personal gains or stuff. I just like went to the market and like typed stuff on it. But yeah, the thing is, I really don't like mechanical keyboards. They have really good touch. I'll give them that. They have really good touchy feel and stuff. But it's it's like it's really weird. It's hard to describe it. I like the the membrane keyboards more because they have a really interesting tactile feel to them. They're like when you press down, there's just like like some soft stuff on it. And I really don't like the mechanical keyboard. It's just like when you press down and you hear all that clicking, and it kind of gets annoying. So yeah. I actually, really? the, the sound they make is usually when you bottom out the keys. The actual key activation is silent. Mm. So if you get used to just light typing it, which if you're remembering key, but you Yeah, you I, use but them, I really don't really type hard. lightly. Yeah, I actually like smash down my buttons on my keyboard. And yeah, you, I mean, all the keys, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I'm like a real loud typer and I press the switch down as hard as I can. And, and also you have dampening rings, you can get those, but oh, yeah. they don't do much, you know. You can get those if you want. But I'm still a big fan of uh, like membrane keyboards. I really don't like mechanical keyboards. Maybe in the future I'll get one. Maybe I'll turn it on It also depends mind. on what switches. You know, the G, what is 910? Yeah, what so is also that? Also has, uh, the switches also very well resemble mechanical, uh, not mechanical, the membrane ones, apparently. And also Steel Series developed their own switches, I think. Yeah, and then with the, what is it, the Apex, no, a, what is the new one? I don't know. Uh, not, it's, Ape not, it's, it's, it's Apex something. It's not raw. Raw is. Yeah, it's not raw and it's not the, the RGB one. I forgot the name, but the still serious it's mechanical one. It's Apex something, I guess. Yeah. yeah it's Apex, Apex something. mechanical. Yeah. Whatever. Something yeah. something. I think those guys they run switches. Yeah. I was about to buy the Apex one, but then kind of got cancelled and stuff. I got prolonged with the order, and yeah, I was just like. Screw everything, let's just buy a Rocket keyboard. I'm, actually, I'm really happy with it. It's actually a really good keyboard. It has like five macro buttons on the side, but you can still remap everything you want. Actually, don't, yeah. crash, don't crash into me, come on. Okay. No, don't okay. worry. Don't but worry. Women drivers, you never know. Oh, come on, man. That's okay. Anyway, so, yeah, I mean, you've tried out my um, actual yeah. genuine cherry keyboard. So yeah, it's not sure. like. It's really interesting typing on them, but I really don't like it. It has MX Brown switches. Yeah. So it's it was interesting playing and typing on it, but um, I don't think I'll be switching anytime soon. Just I just don't like the feel of them. That's um, it. I just don't like the feel. But I can understand it. It's personal preference, you know. But yeah. I kind of went to it and expected like to be this huge, massive change. In, it wasn't that big, you know. You know, some people make it like the end of the world if you don't use a mechanical keyboard. Yeah, but it's just like preference. It's not like a very big difference, you know. It's kind of like going between an optical and a laser sensor. Yeah. You know, they say, like, oh, this acceleration is unbelievable, it's going all over the place. It's... And then you try it and it's like, no, it isn't. Yeah. You can sort of feel it a, a bit. It can feel it's like a bit different, but that's about it. It's not, it's not a game breaker. Yeah, it's really not. It's just like, oh, this actually looks kind of cool. It's it feels so, different, you know. It's okay. It's like That's petrol it. and diesel engines, you know, it just feels different. Yeah. So well, I have 15 seconds. Yeah, right we there. say goodbye. I'm gonna wait some more. Yeah, let's count down. Happy New Year! No, it's not the time of the year. Not yet, also, at least. It's like start four of, months. Start a new school here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah! Goodbye! Bye!